I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I was always artistic. My dad was a graphic designer, what they used to call a commercial artist in the old days. And my brothers and sisters and I would always hang out with him while he was working. He worked at home. My mom would say, don't bother your dad because he's busy making money. And we always thought that that's how people made money was that they would be in their offices painting pictures of George Washington on little green pieces of paper. And that was how they made money. So I always wondered how other people's dads made money or parents made money when they didn't, you know, they couldn't draw pictures of dollar bills. But that's what we learned to do. And my dad always had crap laying around on the floor, cut off from whatever he was working on. And um, so we would make stuff too. My parents had four kids and not a whole bunch of money. So my, when we wanted stuff, mom would say, oh, you can make that. I am Nan Peretti and I have Elmer's store here in Asheville. I also have worked my way into being able to do the Christmas decorations for Greenfield and Amherst, Massachusetts and Brattleboro, Vermont. And that's what I'm working on right now. These are stars for Amherst. Well, I moved most places by accident. I got to New Orleans because I went to visit a friend of mine who was living there. I was living in North Carolina teaching school at the time. And I decided I'd go down in 1980. And so by the time we got to New Orleans, I got off the train and within 10 minutes I decided these are my people, this is my place, this is where I live, I'm not going home. I called up my job and quit. Never went back at all, not even to get my stuff. I just stayed there for 25 years. And I lived all over the place. I lived in the French Quarter, but then I lived for 15 years in the Treme. Started working for the Jazz Fest in 1983. The people from the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival came over to Whole Foods Market, where I was the sign maker, and said, can you make us some signs for Jazz Fest? So I did, and I made the signs that go on the stage for the artists, and then 31 years later, I'm still doing that, and I'm also the co-head of the art department now, so we design all the stages and build all the sets. The way I got to Ashfield, my friend Anna lived here. And I was coming to visit her anyway, and just right before I got here, her husband died of an aneurysm, which was shocking. We'd all been friends, we'd all known each other in New Orleans, and so I ended up staying longer than I had intended to, just hanging out with Anna. I was here and started, headed back to New Orleans, and a friend of mine called me, this is a few days before August 31st, 2005, a friend of mine called me and said, we have a big hurricane this weekend, so why don't you wait? come back next Monday or so, and I said, that's cool, I'm gonna come back to Asheville, I like Asheville, I'm gonna go hang out there. Came back to Asheville, that was Hurricane Katrina, and I watched it on the internet, and it took out everything I owned, my house and everything else. The only stuff I had still was stuff I had in my suitcase when I came up here. Since I had nothing to go back to, and I thought, you know, I've never lived in New England, I've always lived in the South, that would be interesting. Elmer's was for sale, it had been closed for about three years, and I had been Elmer since 1941, but the building has been here since 1835. And I thought, well, that's so interesting and, and cool. So I had never owned a restaurant. I had never even worked in a restaurant, but I thought, how hard can that be? That'd be fun. And it is fun, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But I bought it and turned it into a restaurant because I felt like it would be fun. And I know how to, I don't know how to run a restaurant, but I knew how to have a good time and show people how to have a good time. Not how to have a good time, but show people a good time. I've been here for nine years and I still have Elmer's. We do all kinds of stuff. We do lots of shows, like we always have this, um, a festival every February called Winkle Picker, which is, I don't know why it's called Winkle Picker, Winkle Picker, that was just a name that came up that sounded good. Kind of has to do around Mardi Gras. We do breakfast and lunch seven days a week, and on Friday nights we do dinner. Whoever kind of strikes my fancy, I have them come. I have Elmer's and I make Christmas decorations for other towns. That's just what I do. That's the life of a restaurateur.